What's going on? In this mini chat tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a conditional follow up response, meaning if they tell you, yes, I want to book a call, but they don't actually click through to book that call, then they will get sent a message after a certain period of time, which will say, hey, why didn't you book a call? You said you were going to book a call, but you didn't click through to actually book the call on my calendar. What's the deal? So I'm going to show you how to set up this kind of if then conditional response type of message. But first, before we jump into it, I wanted to tell you about our free many chat cheat sheet. So we've created a free PDF and a video walkthrough going over the 11 crucial features that your many chat messenger bot must have. Now, if you want to get this completely free digital download, then head over to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. We'll send it over to you in a Facebook message. So make sure that you're signed into Messenger and then also type in the word learn into the little input field. And then that will ensure that that message gets sent over to you and that you can access that free digital download. Now let's go ahead and jump into ManyChat right now so I can show you how to create this conditional response. All right, so we are here in the ManyChat platform and this is a message flow that I have set up. So basically, just like I told you with our ManyChat cheat sheet, when people opt in to download that cheat sheet, a day later they are gonna get this message follow up from me. And this is not the conditional part, this is just a regular one day follow up saying, hey, did you have a chance to watch the video and download the 11 crucial many chat messenger bot features, things like that. So I link them over to get the cheat sheet. It's just a basic reminder saying, hey, get it here. Also, you can subscribe to me on YouTube here and you can join our Facebook group right here. But this is where I have the conditional response set up. Quick question for you. Would you prefer to hire someone or would you rather just get a bot template and build it yourself? Click the button below and let me know. When they click on I'd hire someone, they're gonna get sent this message right here. Nice. I would love to help you set up a messenger bot for your business because we do done for you services. We're an agency, we have a team, we build out messenger bots, we run Facebook ads, we build sales funnels, all that good stuff. So let's talk, let's get on the phone together and let's chat about your project and let's see if we can help you build out your messenger bot, right? So if they click on, yeah, sure, they're going to get tagged, wanted to book a call, because they're saying, yeah, let's set up a call. They're showing interest that they want to book a call. So, wanted to book a call as a tag. Remember that, wanted to book a call as a tag. Then they get sent this message right here. Cool, click below to book a call on my calendar right now. Also, you can visit our website, blah, blah, blah. So, if they click through to book a call, that's gonna add the tag clicked schedule call. So there's two tags there that are very important. There's one that says wanted to book a call where they're saying, yes, let's book a call. And then there's the other one saying actually clicked to schedule the call. So basically if they clicked wanted to book a call, but they did not click clicked schedule call, then 12 hours later, I have a conditional message set up to follow up with them saying, Hey, you said that you wanted to book a call, but you didn't book a call. What's the deal? What's the deal here? Let's, let's, let's figure this out. Let's, let's, you know, did, did I not answer you? Something along those lines. So now let me go over to where this rule is set up and show you how we have it set up here. So right here, the when this happens, it's set for a date slash time based trigger. The trigger goes off 12 hours after their last interaction. So meaning the last interaction is like that click. When they click on, yes, I'd like to book a call, that's the last interaction pretty much. So 12 hours later, they're gonna get sent this message flow right here. But the conditions are, the tag is that they wanted to book a call. So they were tagged they wanted to book a call, but the tag isn't clicked schedule the call. So if they are tagged wanted to book a call, but they did not, they're not tagged click schedule call, then send them this message right here. So they get sent this message right here. First name, I noticed you didn't book a call in my calendar after saying you wanted to. Why is that? Are there any questions I can answer here through Messenger? And it is a user input field, you know, and then I also have it to notify the admin. So notify me 
once they actually type in a response and then I will get a Facebook message sent to me saying, hey, somebody just responded, you know, they're, they're saying this message, so then I can jump in there and I can chat, up, chat it up with them one-on-one -on -one right away. Now, a really cool thing that maybe ManyChat will do down the line is if ManyChat actually integrated with my calendar software like Calendly. So let's say that they did click, you know, click book a call and they went over to Calendly and looked at it and then bailed. So they didn't actually book it. It's kind of like an abandoned cart sequence. Then that'd be cool if Calendly could then send that information back to ManyChat and be like, hey, this person clicked through, they didn't book the call, follow up with them, send them a message here. We're not at that step right now. That technology is not available just yet. I'm just saying that would be cool. But anyway, let me show you now how to actually create this rule from scratch because showing you this rule set up right here may not fully you know, help you understand it. So we're gonna jump in here to a fresh new rule and we're going to click on the trigger and we're gonna select date time base trigger. Trigger goes off, I have it set for 12, hours after last interaction okay and then the condition is tag is wanted to book a call tag is wanted to book a call and the tag is not schedule clicked schedule call so it is not clicked schedule call then they will get sent this message so you just have this as start a flow. So I had to create a new flow with that one message in it. Here is that flow right here. There is the first message in the flow that I created. So it is that simple. You can do this with pretty much any type of action. I'm doing it with booking a call. Maybe you do it with a promo code. You say, hey, first name, would you like to save 10% right now? They click on the yes button that tags them with would like to save 10%. And then you send them the next message saying, all right, great. Here's your 10% off promo code. Click below to actually go and purchase the product to save that 10%. But they don't actually click that button that says save 10%. They will not get tagged that second tag. And then you can follow up with them because they didn't. Again, if you have not yet downloaded our free mini chat cheat sheet, then head over to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet covering the 11 crucial features that your mini chat bot must have. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.